I will say this, that um, your soulmate does not always have to be the one who's snatching your soul. Previously on Dear June with Peyton. Uh, 30 videos for the month. Yeah. Hey! Where my forks and my spoons at? Guess who just came up here laughing like it's funny? This is a real black woman's kitchen. This is a real black mama kitchen, okay? You don't know nothing about a black mama kitchen until you go in a black mama kitchen. And I ain't talking about the hair on the back of her neck. Hey, BMW. I'm hot, girl. I'm hot as hell. Pardon? I'm hot, girl. I'm a hot girl. I'm a hot girl. Catch all this drip today. Catch out this drip today. Oh, you make my love come down. Bag it up and dump it. Bag it up and dump it on me. Bag it up and dump it. Bag it up and dump it on me. Make sure you're all caught up on the Dear June Diaries and let's jump into today's diary and see what's going on. Afternoon. Welcome back to another Dear June Daily Diary. So, um, I just made me a little factor meal for lunch, and then we're gonna go upstairs and try to find something to wear to the Joe Malone meet and greet because I didn't get a chance to go to the mall. But I have so many new items. It's just what I had planned on wearing was white, and I can't wear white now. So, we're going to have to improvise so yeah we're gonna have to um, improvise and put something else on or something else which I feel like I, I definitely have something else that I could wear and I probably can still wear the white um, it's just you know that's not the most smart thing to do when the flow is visiting but I have the three bean chili with cornbread and I don't know what kind of sauce this is but it's pretty tasty um, I'm just eating a fifth factor meal because it's quick I've been up working so I actually have to film some sponsorships before and I gotta do my hair I'm probably going to wear the bob. I don't know. I kind of feel like I want to wear the bang bob. The black bang bob. But then the highlight bob is also a vibe. So, yeah, we got to figure that out. And this is a get ready with me vlog. So, yeah, y'all going to get ready with me in all of that. And I probably will post the actual Joe Malone event video in that night because this like could be a two-part day you know what I'm saying that'll be a different vlog yeah me and all my niggas doing well 
Okay, let's go upstairs and see if we can find something to wear. How y'all day going today? My day is going pretty good. I'll say that. It's going pretty good. So, originally I wanted to wear, because it's springtime and it's the spring Jo Malone event, I wanted to wear this fun paisley shirt that i got a silk shirt that i got from zara it's in a medium i'm not super excited about the sleeves or the cuffs um it's just not like your traditional brows it has that plunging like neckline so hmm, yeah um and just based on the the type of blouse this is it definitely has to be tucked in um i'm not going for the crop look or the tie up shirt look i'm not going for that look although it's really really cute that's not the look i'm going for for this type of event and i wanted to wear white trousers with this with my pink jimmy shoes which would have been so cute still will be cute but you know for me, I wear diapers, y'all. I like wearing diapers. I just feel like I just like the added protection and just to to be free and, you know, let it do what it's do, you know. So I like to wear diapers. Um, in the event when I wear diapers, I not only have diaper booty, um, but like the period panties that I get, uh, that I, get I think they're, I want to say they're always, um, they just ain't like super super flattering under clothes that are like slightly transparent like it look like you got on granny panties it look like you got on bloomers it look like you got on period panties for sure um and the trousers that i would put on they're kind of transparent so i was thinking of because i have a similar pair of zara trousers um, I've worn these before. I wore these in Curacao with a polka dot top and I did like a 50s look with it. But what I really like about these green trousers is this little situation here. You see? But the back, right? So it's it doesn't require a belt. They fit amazing. You're not going to be able to tell that I got on. <gasps> You're not going to be able to tell that I got on a diaper underneath. And I feel like it would still go really, really well with this um, outfit because there are greens in it. So, essentially, I would have to probably wear my green Dolce & Gabbana mules with this instead, which is still cute. Um, very feminine. Really cute. I like that. So, I'm thinking about this. This is option one. But because i'm on my period i'm feeling so girly and womanly girl so i just i just remember that i had this like this was kind of hiding you know what see this why i need this closet is just not doing it for me so uh because i literally forget that i have clothes it's so many clothes in there like i can't really see everything that i got anyway just found this top so so cute so even this this is giving like a little aka moment right so we're gonna figure it out you know what would be really cute if i had some no but it's too hot you you, you see you are already messing up because i was really good to see her and say what would be really cute would be like some white leather capris ma'am <laughs> It's really not spring. It's really summer, okay? We're in June, baby girl. It's 103 degrees outside, even when it's raining. Leather who? Hey, from that day I never saw the point in talking tough. Hasn't happened since I guess you niggas know what's up, yo. Okay, let's do our makeup and stuff, stuff, stuff. So. Scared the shit out of me. I said, 
uh, hold on, Megan. What? Excuse, excuse me, say what? Like, I like you, girl, but, um, how you get in my house? <laughs> Scared the absolute shit out of me. All right, so we are freshly showered. Skin is very much dry. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to use to moisturize. I might as well use good old CeraVe because I think I'm almost positive that my skin barrier is highly compromised from this tretinoin journey. Last night when I put it on, I was um, burning. Mm -hmm. my, skin, my face was burning last night when I put it on. So, and I felt like the irritation around my nostrils. Show. Sure. Where is my tweezers? God, I keep losing my tweezers. This is so annoying. So the time is now five. Um, we have an hour to get ready. Do y'all think we can do it? Can we just talk about how the fact that I ain't put on no makeup since I started my retinol journey? I ain't went out. I ain't even went out. I have not been anywhere um, since Thailand. Thailand was definitely the last time I put makeup on. I am so grateful to have a friend like Ray Yao. He, he is just a really, really attentive um, friend. I I don't think I've ever had a friend like Ray. Especially a male friend. I have never had a friend as caring and as attentive as Ray. Um, he's a Virgo, by the way. I'm not sure if that's a Virgo thing. My grandmother who... Uh, raised me was a Virgo. Y'all know I'm crazy about Virgos. So let's just go ahead and let that be known right now. I'm crazy about y'all. I think y'all are so enlightening and just wonderful, wonderful people. But I ain't never had nobody in my life like right. I, he's just he's just so, so wonderful. And I'm so glad that his brand and his business is thriving because he totally deserves it if nobody else deserves it he totally deserves it i'm i'm like i literally anticipate the day when he tell me he has hit a million in sales and he's a millionaire because like i i truly truly want that for him and not only that but he can write a book on how to treat a woman you know what i'm saying like he be giving my little boo a run for his money because i will say this that um, your soulmate does not always have to be the one who's snatching your soul. Mm -hmm. Can I get an amen? Amen. It needed to be said and you heard it here first. So we will be doing a sponge application, makeup application today. Since I am dealing with some irritation and dryness, I definitely don't want to stipple or, um buff in if you will my foundation because i'm probably going to be peeling um i am extremely dry right now um so yeah we gonna use that good old elf the good old elf blending sponge sponge today but i am so excited to meet y'all i'm not sure if a lot of the girls who are coming are going to be the same ones that came last time i did put like a little disclaimer that you know if you came last time you know i would i would love to see y'all again but i just i definitely wanted it to be um you know room for people who didn't get to come last time because it was only a limited amount of um invites sent out because it's more like an intimate setting because i still do have social anxiety i'm not completely cured y'all i still get super nervous around people but i'm so excited to meet y'all so so excited to meet y'all um and i'm very very thankful for y'all like the way y'all have allowed me to embrace who i am in this space and y'all have given me a space to be comfortable with being transparent and showing my personality i only have one i know it may seem like i have a couple but um I'm just I'm just really comfortable with the camera um, y'all get to see a side of me that people who actually are around me in person don't get to see I say this all the time like when I'm actually like dating when I'm around guys I am so quiet they would not believe that I have the personality that I have because I'm 
so so quiet and shy and reserved because i really be I, re I really be trying to get you know feel that energy and even if i am around someone who's goofy like me i still probably won't even allow them to see this side of me and even then they still be crazy about me baby they still love my dirty draws but they don't get to see um what you know most people get to see my audience get to see and so i'm just grateful for y'all and and while i don't think that um youtube is a safe space to a safe space to be overly transparent anymore like back in the day you could get on youtube and you know share your testimony and stuff like that and you had people um genuinely empathize and, and and things like that with your story but now youtube has allowed people to create a platform around trolling others um and so in that i don't always feel like everything is meant for youtube you know what i'm saying and while your story might be you know helpful and inspiring and monetizable for sure you know what i'm saying because i'm pretty sure a lot of us got a good old clickbait ass story baby um everything is just not for the internet so i am extremely extremely grateful for y'all for sticking with me allowing me to grow through a lot of things that i was going through i feel like a lot of people will put time stamps on your life because they don't want you to forget where you came from. And it's like, girl, I'm not gonna forget where I came from. That's my life. I mean, I understand that you were a part of it and you you witnessed some of it, but I'm not gonna forget that. But at the same time, I don't live there anymore. You don't even know me like that anymore. So why are we talking about that? I remember there's a, a Tyler Perry play. Um, and you can tell that Tyler Perry is one of them people where he like, includes a lot of people from his past because he wants to see everybody win um and at the end of the play the guy that said this was actually like one of his toxic characters because you know tyler perry gonna put a a toxic man in there baby the, the, a black woman story according to tyler perry be, be full of adversity so anyway um at the end of the play you know he's just interviewing certain people um that were a part of the play and this one guy he came on screen and was just you know, he he wasn't talking directly to Tyler Perry, but he was on screen giving like an interview and he was like, man, I remember when you was, you know, homeless sleeping in your car, asking me to borrow money and look at where you at now. And it's like, do people understand how backhanded compliments go? Like, I think some things are just better left unsaid. You know, you don't have to say a lot of things. And I find that, you know, when you are around a person that, and you can't really tell if they are genuinely happy for you, I think that person will show, will show that. You know what I'm saying? And quiet as kept, we never seen him in another Tyler Perry play after that. At least I didn't. So... Um, you know, I don't know like that always stuck with me like why would you bring that up? Like I understand that Tyler Perry has shared his testimony and you know It's no secret that he was once homeless and living out his car I mean we all can relate to that in some way shape or form But to say that at the end of a play that he put you in he's he's more than likely paying you to be in and stuff like that I think a lot of things just don't need to be said, but you know a lot of people don't have coot and you'll find that in a lot of friendships people want to time stamp you from from uh they want to time stamp that bad point in your life as if you can't grow out of it i i said all this to say because i i truly appreciate y'all i really do i really do and i'm i'm so happy that i get a chance to meet you know the people who support me genuinely support me you know a lot of people uh, a lot of y'all you know reach out to me and and tell and share intimate 
details about your life with me and i i I'm, i feel so privileged to to get to know y'all on a deeper level because i talk to y'all all the time in the dms i may not get deep in the comment section because i feel like a lot of things are private and should be said you know um in, in private um and discussed in private but a lot of y'all say that, you know, I'm y'all friend in y'all head and best friend in y'all head. And, you know, I, I've had people that inspire me and that I look up to who I've felt that way. And I've never really been able to build anything with them. I don't know if it was because of my own anxiety of just like feeling not. I'm not going to say feeling weird, but not feeling comfortable enough to reach out to them and let them know that you know i truly truly look up to them and things like that i i have not always had that that space to be able to do that so i'm happy that i have created a space for y'all to be comfortable enough to reach out to me and tell me intimate details of your life and, and share things with me um about y'all life so thank you june has really been a really 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 good month um i wish i could share much more with y'all why but i don't know i like i like reserving a, a a a couple of the details about my life to myself you know what i'm saying because i know that there are people who watch me that don't like me and aren't happy for me so i you know i I choose to keep a lot of like goals that I have achieved and things like that to myself. Um, but I do want to say this: if 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 YouTube is something that you are, you know, um, looking to do or you desire to do, do it. Please do it. Do not let anything stop you from pressing record and getting your coin i was actually just reached just recently watching a few of peach mcintyre's shorts and i love her and i love how positive she is i think one of the first videos that i watched of hers is when she um was you know showing her apartment i think she was saying you know, you know um she lived she lived on section eight at the time i think that was one of the first videos that i saw of her it was viral um and now she's like i mean she does millions when it comes to views and she's so successful when it comes to this platform and i, I definitely want people to understand like there is no picture perfect youtuber there is no person that you have to be like in order to be successful on this platform. Everybody has their own niche. Everybody has their own life and your life is your niche, essentially. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you can have evergreen content on this platform. And, um, and every, by what I mean when I say evergreen content, that's content that just doesn't age. It's going to forever go viral. Like I have a video um, like before surgery it's a video on how to do hollywood waves in my in my opinion that would be considered evergreen content because people are always um looking to uh, looking for tutorials on how to do different hairstyles and stuff like that so i feel like that's evergreen content people are still commenting on that video that video still does numbers it's crazy to me i actually really want to take it down because when i go back and look at it baby that wig is not giving okay the, the curls are but the wig is not baby this was before baby hairs and tweaking them uh frontals and all of that i really want to take it down but i'm gonna leave it up i'm gonna leave it up for the girls the girls who want to know how to do the girls but there is a there's a place on youtube for everybody don't let people get on here and um you know confuse you because a lot of people are committed to confusion baby let me tell you it's it's the comments that i read certain things that people choose to respond to i'd be like okay you know what even if this ain't a negative comment i'm just gonna have to block you because how did you get that out of what i said a lot of people truly are committed to confusion so 
I said all that to say it's a reason why Nike logo is a check. Because if you want to get to it, just do it. Ooh, come on. Come on, eyeliner. I said, didn't I say? Then I say when I do my eyeliner with this little thing looking down like this, my eyeliner always come out good. Didn't I say that in one of my little get ready with me videos? This one don't look nothing like this one, but whatever. It happened. It be like this sometimes, baby. I'm not even. Could it, I'm not. Mm -mm, I'm not. Cause we 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 really ain't got time to be fooling with no uh no little funky ass eyeliner today. We don't. Oh, my lips are so dry and chappy, and I want to put on some lip gloss, but I had a reaction after my dental procedure, and boy, oh boy. So I was listening to um, Drake's From Florida With Love while I was doing my hair, I think I, I had it on repeat, child. I ain't know I had it on repeat, but I ain't feel like switching the song. Um, so I just kept listening to it over and over again. And that song is old, but man, I'm telling you, Drake know he makes some classic fucking music. Because I tell you, his lyrics, timeless. Timeless. So he has a, he has a, um, a lyric in there that basically says... He, he'll lose everything if he responds to the petty things. And when I said, come on now, preacher. Come on now, preacher. I, I, it was almost like I needed to hear that Drake lyric. A lot of y'all have also been sending me a lot of inspirational posts from like preacher pastors and stuff like that. And this one pastor, he had made a real, and I, I only remember like a part of it, but he was like a lot of people are committed, put, committed to confusion. So no matter what you say, no matter how you say it, um, their whole purpose is to cause confusion and static and they just want to argue. They just want to fight. Um... They, they literally have n nothing else better to do than to like just be messy and start mess. What foundation do we want to put on today? I'm thinking huddle. I do need to run the iron over my clothes though, but yeah. Um, I'm trying the Beyonce method. And I'm not responding because you can you can really call someone to become obsessed with you by responding to like one simple reply and you know engaging with the negativity they can become obsessed with you. I don't like that. All right, we ain't put on Huda in a long long time, but I know one thing Huda gonna do is cover up some acne, and we love that for us. I can always count on Hooter for coverage. And I'm going to contour, but um, I'm gonna contour over the foundation today. I usually contour on to under, but I'm gonna do over today. I don't know what lipstick I wanna put on cause I really don't like putting on lipstick when I got, um, when I first get my lips done let's try our a lot of people say good things about this I think I've only used this one time and I'm not really much of a baker I just like to put it all over my concealer just enough for it to not uh, crease I'm gonna set my neck with Givenchy. I love this prism powder. It is so good. I'm going to use my trusty blush palette that I have not used in a really, really long time. And we are going to powder blush today instead of cream. Because while I love cream blush, I do feel like it clogs my pores and breaks me out in my cheek 
cheek area. I will try my best to link everything that I'm using in the description box. I don't always do it for my for my makeup, but I'll try my best for this video because this will get ready with me. Gucci face spray. I went crazy, of course, and shouldn't have done that before after my <coughs> mascara. Very, very silly. Very, very silly of you. Oh God. This is why I don't like seeing my face. <laughs> wow, that looks... Yep, we're going to leave it alone. We're going to let it dry. We're going to let it dry. Ooh, baby, we have a debacle. I like the pink shoes with it too. What are we thinking? Pink or green? But this is the outfit and I actually really, really like this top. I love the sleeves. I thought I wouldn't like the sleeves, but I like the sleeves. I actually love the sleeves. <sighs> okay. I just love how dainty the Dolce & Gabbana mules are. But the pink ones are just, I don't know. It's like making the pink in the shirt stand out more. Oh. It's a debacle. Okay, scents of the night. We're going to wear one by Azalea. This is a perfume that you can only get in Dubai. Okay, so full outfit. This is what we're wearing. Top and pants from Zara, Jimmy Choo, Mules, Fendi Bag. And yeah, I'm ready to meet y'all. Let's go. Let's get it going. Baby. 